this is like. Sorry, but they're just, they're so tired from the girls' dance. school? July. Well why are you acting like it's July now in February? You're leaving in three or four months. Don't stop acting like you're leaving school now.
And Bolbert, of course, means to rip. Oh! What do you think you're doing? Now, we haven't seen any boys sleeping today because they haven't actually choreographed their own dance. Let's go and have a chat with their choreographer slash babysitter here in the business department. Did the boys manage to keep up with the intense choreography that you created? Yeah, some people find it easier than others, um, but it's not necessarily to do with the fact that you're fit and healthy or, or anything. What was the worst part for choreographing the dance for the boys? So I'd probably say it was the, the lack of showers. Um, what state did they leave the rehearsal space in? The staff probably did a bit more of the cleaning that the pupils didn't necessarily notice. And in general, how were the boys? They were pretty unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> What was it like taking care of the boys babysitting? It was sort of overcoming the nerves for some, also the fear of the unknown. These sort of classroom instructions, you know, let's sit down, let's stand up, let's go outside, let's, let's do that thing which you'd really need for you know, primary school aged pupils. And finally, do you think the girls will win? Of course, yeah, certainly. We teach girls to shrink themselves, to make themselves smaller. We say to girls, you can have ambition, but not too much. You should aim to be successful, but not too successful. Otherwise, you will threaten the man. We raise girls to treat each other as competitors, not for jobs or for accomplishments, which I think can be a good thing, but for the attention of men. We teach girls that they cannot be sexual beings in the way that boys are. Feminist, the person who believes in the social, political and economic equality of the sexes.